Hello guys, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be specifically about my K0 Pro number 3. Uh, and this specific picture or video is from K06 uh, replacement. So uh, why I want to talk about that specific uh, miner? Because it didn't perform on regular 280 GHz. hash. It's only accepted 270 GHz. hash. So I went and go ahead and installed my um, heat sinks on it and also uh, uh, try to uh, get the overclocked uh, 300 giga hash. So this video is going to be all about that. And also I want to show you on this specific picture, you see how I spread the leaves of this heat sink away from each other. So there is a lot more air could come through this copper leaves and hopefully uh, cool a lot quicker this heat sink, you know, with the air coming through. So that's the idea behind it. Uh, you guys can try it on, try it out and uh, let me know if you like that idea or not. And I'm going to show you uh, what you should not do when you do that. So just second here. All right, so don't use your pliers. Don't use the pliers to hold when you spread out or clean anything to do with your uh, heat sink. Because the copper here is very soft material and you're deforming the, the surface of the bottom. So it could be potentially bend it or shrink a little bit. And so it's not really flat 100%. So don't do that. Uh, because if you do that, it will it will may deform your uh, bottom. I mean, you cannot see that on the video, but you definitely can damage that um, heat sink. All right. Also on this number three miner, what I did, I used this splitter for uh, fan splitter. So it's a two-way splitter. One comes with the three pin and one with the four pin. The reason is the four pin is reads your uh, fan rpm your uh, speed of your fan right so it reads by the one that has the four pin and the second one is just going to repeat the same function that the first one does so it will be at the same percentage so i'm going to put that splitter and put two of the fans uh, two of those fans on on the splitter and i'm going to use uh, one of the connector there and the second connector um, uh, and i'm going to make sure the wire going to come here clearly and then the second one uh, I'm gonna just use extension uh, that extension will be installed uh, just this wire just just fan extender extender and it will be connected there outside so that's the one we're gonna use for external fan a uh, speed controller and we're not gonna use directly we're not gonna connect fan directly to the board we're gonna use power management I'm gonna stop here so this is the device, it's a PWM uh, fan controller. So what it does, this two wires, all it, all it sends the information from your uh, settings from web GUI, which you set on your fan. On these two wires, it doesn't use any power from your uh, board, so from your circuit board. All power is used uh, 12 volt you connect to your uh, outside source. And that's what you use to, the, to control the fans and to the actually give them power to the fan right so uh, when you do use this one you basically can control your uh, fan speeds from web GUI and not using your um, not, not using the power from your controller not not overload your uh, power supply there right now the second option so this is the four pin connector and three pin connector that's what we're gonna use for uh, these two fans, all right, and we're gonna use for first fan. We're gonna use four uh, pin connectors so we could see this the speed there on our first uh, fan because it's more important. It's next to the MOSFETs, and the second one will be blowing in this direction. Um, so, a second device. What I'm using on the other miners is the temperature speed controller which looks just like this I'm gonna pause that video so you could have fan 1 and fan 2 controller and fan 1 and fan 2 temperature sensors so one sensor 1 uh, respond to fan 1 and the fan 2 to the sensor temperature of the sensor 
number two and you do all the settings here there is all programming uh, I, I had in the video other video how to program this thing and also the input between 10 and 60 volts here so you do your uh, voltage uh, based on your fan obviously uh, control so I'm using 12 volt fans so I'm using 12 volt input here on these two wires negative and positive right so that's the other way to do it but for this specific miner we're not gonna use that we're gonna use just the web GUI uh, controlling the fan the second fan and we'll see if we can read uh, on the web GUI the speed of the fan when we set the percentage um, the only disadvantage on that setup is where you need to set your uh, internal fan speed faster it will also set your external fan also faster so there is no like separate control between one and two of these inputs right so all right let's uh let's get it assembled and i'll show you after we put back on the on my rig uh, the temperatures on this mosfets inside the fan and uh let's take a look okay and here we have this wire running uh all the way from ks0 pro to this uh power management fan controller and then the uh so that control comes here from the ks0 the power comes from the power supply and this is our fan goes to the red connector fan number three for ks0 pro 3 and let's check some uh i'll show you inside real quick so you could see diffusers so this is my uh, diffusers here inside that box and you could if you notice the center of the fan there and the center of ks0 pro uh they're not exactly um aligned they shifted so there is a little bit of the shift about an inch away from center so the blades here creating the maximum pressure of the air coming to be able to uh, flow inside the miner at the maximum speed right so that's the idea behind it uh, well, let's check some temperatures after we install that uh, and uh, ran 300 giga hash hardware on this number three miner all right so you could see the temps actually is getting pretty good uh, i'm gonna pause here to show you so basically it's 48 degrees which uh my 340 uh giga hash version uh k0 have about 54 to 55 and it's sometimes at the upper MOSFET sometimes is this number three from the top getting the most uh, of the heat I don't know why this is the hottest place usually on all of them on number three uh, rarely it gets here on the number one maybe because some air flow behind those um, there is a little couple of those uh, um, I don't know if it's condensers or some other uh, resistors behind this um, heat sinks that prevent full air flow so that's kind of a little um, flow device there I mean flow in the design I think that's for the air flow because uh, they didn't design to make it with the heat sinks anyways um, you could see the temps are good if they were rising about 200 degrees Celsius your mine are gonna shut down uh, and the something probably is a wrong with your temperature uh, i mean with your uh, heat sinks installation or maybe something in the actual case all right so you could see now um, we have some data i collected for you uh for all of seven miners i have from web gui so what i did i went and uh, check each of them and pull the data how many what's the time frame on the pool what the firmware uh, version here installed on this specific miner and also temperature one two i have the heat sinks installed or not so you could see that and then the fan uh, speed in internal fans are in the percentage and external fans in rpm and you can pause this data and compare and check with the uh, also with the pool because most important for me is what i'm getting on the pool 
readings and I'm going to refresh it so you guys could see this is not just uh, pulled uh, some specific time I'm going to do random so it doesn't really matter what I um, refreshed it just to be sure it's the active data it's not like I figured out some at some good point and showing you guys because uh, this video is not sponsored it's uh, my own I purchase all these uh, overclocks with my own caspa so this is just a testing I'm doing for to share with you guys and you can compare so let's look at the uh, data there 24 hours 200 327 versus the web GUI showing for 30 minutes 325 276 on second 287 for 24 hours which is a lot better and then that number three I just restarted four hours ago so it's not gonna have full 24 hours data until it runs through the whole that process but you could see on 300 giga hash I'm getting 300 on web GUI in a, and already three 38 352 um, I don't care much about 15 minute rating there right and then this is my number three the rpm for the external fan control on the web GUI I'm gonna show you guys in a minute there and so the other ones you could check the the firmware version what's on the, what are we getting on the pool and what's what's version we're running so the k06 I actually yesterday had to re-glue my heat sinks because I kind of believe there is an issue with maybe one or two heat sinks maybe not properly attached and that but that's separate video because I haven't tried to test on the 340 again because when I run this on 340 it goes to 100 degree and shuts down the miner so I re-glue it I'm gonna let it um, run uh, maybe uh, another day on 320 see if it's stable and try 340 after that so that's pretty much it for this uh, spreadsheet let's switch to the um, web GUI so I can show you that all right so we are in web GUI and um, this is the fan one is the one that controls my external fan that's where I connected that uh, to power management fan controller and this is just a test for this specific miner um, and to be honest I'm not a hundred percent like this uh, setup just because the reason is for you need to get extra multiple parts besides the power management controller which eight dollars and you need to set your uh, you set your temperatures just right here um, so you need to get your uh splitter that's about three bucks maybe three four dollars right and then you get to have extender to another one that's another maybe three four dollars so you're roughly looking for 20 bucks to do this setup plus the wire to connect to psu you know that um, per management device versus where when you use your uh temperature controller fan controller all you gotta do it's a 20 dollar device investment but it controls two fans individually you can set temperatures how you like and it will be uh, separate from the miner because you could set this fans to 100 percent for to run internal as you wish and then the external fans you can control by temperature changes on environment uh, not uh, based on the web GUI because I don't really like after settings when it switches here around the after and it doesn't really give you a great um, option there anyway um, this is just a test for this reason but I really like the temperatures being hold up pretty well on this um, k0 uh, number three right and then so we are getting the pretty good results on the, so far on the hash rate it dropped a little bit now but overall it's been uh, around 300 giga hash and also on the pool is showing 300 giga hash where i couldn't get past 270 on 270 firmware it was running sometimes 280 or 275 but uh not as well as a uh, 300 and uh, being the with the temperature so much cooler with the heat sinks all right so that's pretty much uh, 
finalizes for this video uh, wraps out and we're gonna basically close it with the ice river website shop so i noticed about a couple hours ago i don't know if you guys noticed this ks0 pro was market sold out and i'm like what and now when i refreshed it what it just sold out again look at this it was sold out then it came available and now it's sold out again so i don't know they're running out of stock and maybe canceling order somebody and then they showing available and then now it's sold out so i guess it is now well that's pretty much it for this video guys uh caspa being holding around 11 cents i believe and the hash rate is being pretty hovering around 142 248 152 max and 11.3 cents caspa price so that's it for this video sorry for long videos i'm doing but i'll see you on the next one